All right, so we're still talking about stress transformation and the stresses at a different orientation. Uh, so this one, uh, we're going to skip over. It says to determine the principal stresses at uh, point A at this uh, cross-section AA. And so what we would need to do, I'll give you an overview of this problem, what we would need to do is we would need to cut it here, right there, and solve for the stresses, solve for the N, V, and M, um, and my sigma x would be n over a and my over i. My sigma y is going to be zero. For these two-dimensional problems, if we cut it right here, there's no sigma y. Why? Uh, because there, there's, there can be no compressive force down there on this cut that is vertical. Uh, my element is right here and so we're not cutting it and so we don't have any ex we, we, we don't have any forces right here we're only looking at the forces right here on this face so for 2d 2d uh, these 2d problems where we cut to find the stresses our sigma y is always going to be zero all right my tau xy though would be the vq over it all right that's a whole problem in itself finding the v and then doing VQ over IT for that cross section at that location, I'd have to specify if that's right above or right below that uh, flange. Uh, but anyway, once I got these three things, then I would take those, and I don't have the rest of this problem, I would take those and then I could find the principal stresses. And so that would tell me at any orientation what's the maximum normal stress and minimum normal stress that I'm going to have uh, at um, point A if I cut it right there at AA. All right, don't have that one. I do have the next one. So let's look at this next one. Not too bad. So again, we're going to cut it here and we're going to solve for the stresses at that cut. All right, so let me look at this from the side. I'm going to, so I'm, I'm going to keep this side and I'm going to cut right here at AA. Um, I have three kips right there so I, I would have to have three kips right there my n would be three my sigma x would be n over a three thousand pounds I'm changing some units here i guess because that's 500 pound feet uh over the area uh pi by four diameter squared uh this would be 424 psi uh, but it would be negative because that's in compression. So either either specify negative 424 psi or say it is um, 424 psi in compression. Sigma y, like I just said, is, is always going to be zero if we're cutting it right here on this vertical cut. And then my tau, all right, generally I would get my tau from a V, VQ over IT, but there is no VQ over IT. But there is torsion, so this is not really a 2D, this is kind of a 3D problem. There's torsion, and this torsion, let's look at that cut, this torsion uh, would cause some shear stress, uh, depending on, let's see, are we cutting it, are we looking at this half or this half, are we looking down the barrel or against the barrel, but, but it, it would cause, remember this, this type of shear stress like this. Um, Shear stress that goes linearly increases outward, uh, the TR over J. That 500 is a T, an internal torsional twisting moment. So this is going to be 500 pound feet R. If I want the maximum of, of all of these, then I'm going to want to look at a point on the outside edge. So this point on the outside edge, it's R, would be, let's see, 3 inch diameter. So yeah, 1.5 inches over the J. J is pi by 2, R to the 4th. And don't get it confused with the area. Uh, times 12 inch per foot, that's a, um, that is a, um, unit conversion right there sorry about that feet right there and then so my tau xy is going to be 
1,131.8 PSI. So let me just reiterate. Here, This is what we've got. We've got a sigma X, negative 424 PSI, sigma Y of 0, tau XY, 1131.8. That was the hard part. Now we're just plugging into our equations to find principal stresses and maximum shear stress. Did it ask for the orientation theta P or theta S? No. Did it ask for me to draw it? No. So, you know, don't ask, don't try to solve for too much if I don't ask for it. Uh, the principal stresses, sigma 1, sigma 2, are going to be negative uh, 424.4 plus 0 divided by 2 plus and minus the square root, negative 424.4. Four minus zero divided by two squared, eleven thirty one point seven squared, right there. So this would be sigma one nine thirty nine psi. Sigma two negative one thousand three hundred sixty something. May have rounded here uh, to three significant digits, right there. And what's the tau at this orientation, zero? At my principal plane, my shear stress is zero. My tau max is that value right there. So if I, if I was careful, I would have um, uh, calculated this a little bit better. This would be 212.2 plus and minus. This is 1,001. Five O oh, again might have rounded right there to three significant digits. So the tau max is that 1,150 PSI uh, and the sigma X and sigma Y are both 212, we'll just say 212 PSI, uh, sorry, negative 212, that's a negative right there, 212 PSI. There it goes. So, so see, some problems, you, you might have to work a lot harder to get these sigma x, sigma y, tau x, y. The problem before, we, we'd have to work really hard finding those n, v, and m's to get those sigmas and taus. Then it's just plugging into our equations that are on our equation sheet, that are on our equation sheet.